Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson and uh, Lord willing, uh, share an article with you, Akiyam and Akwaf, you know, further proving uh, the circling of the drain of uh, Mystery Babylon the Great and uh, you know pretty much showing the perverseness okay of the king of this earth at this moment whom is none other than Esau Edom the so-called white man you know where under this man's watch you know all man is a wickedness and perversion uh, is being thrusted forth you know we see as of late you know his Momo agenda that he's putting throughout the schools uh, throughout television, movies, uh, his media, you name it. Okay, he's thrusting that uh, Sodom in Egypt uh, mindset you know, on everybody, okay, old and young. You know, and through his legislation, okay, through his unrighteous decrees, he's uh, granted these individuals access to power uh, beyond, uh, beyond their, you know, regular citizen, man. Okay, these people have more power than, than, than a heterosexual uh, male and female. You know, but all this is is a fulfillment of prophecy, man. You know, because we understand, uh, pursuant to Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 19, right, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will mingle a perverse spirit, man, in the midst of Egypt, man. Matter of fact, let's start there real quick. And here it is. Uh, it's written, what is it, 2 Peter, the second chapter? That Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai left Sodom and Gomorrah as an example, man, for those after that should live in God. And look at Esau, Edom, the so called white man. He turned around and did exactly uh, what the scripture says um, not to do. You see, he's following in the steps of Sodom and Gomorrah, man, which, which allows us with the vision, okay? With the understanding, you know, with the anointment, you know, from the Holy One in the form of the Holy Spirit, to realize and understand that judgment is pending for this place, based off that, uh, based off that offense alone, man. Okay, this Momo agenda that he's pushing throughout the, throughout the, uh, throughout the planet Earth, starting here in Mystery Babylon the Great, the abominations of the Earth. You see, there's a penalty for these things, man. So we know judgment's coming. It's just a matter of time. The book of Isaiah, chapter 19 and verse 14, and it reads, The Lord, Yahweh, hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err. And that word err goes into error. Okay? And every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Right? And this Momo agenda is a prime example Okay, of a work of error. Okay, because it guarantees a visitation from the divine, man. Okay, and it's going to come in the form of a cruel messenger, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai rained fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You see? And we understand pursuing the biblical prophecy, missiles, ICBM missiles are going to rain down on this spiritual uh, Sodom and Egypt, man. Which is Mystery Babylon the Great, aka America, man. And real quick, when you get this word, let's go to the etymology real quick. When you get this word perverse in the etymology, what's it going to? Wicked. Okay? The adjective. It is how we know this is talking about Esau, Edom, the so called white man. Pursuant to Malachi, the first chapter, Job 9 and 24. And there's many more. All right, let's get a little more. Unnatural, right? Degenerate. You see? Hey, perverse, contrary. 
uh, let's see, a skew, right? Figuratively turned away from what is right, right, wrong, right? Malicious, spiteful, right? Hey, corrupt. What's that, Isaiah 53? A fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Corrupt are they? And they have done abominable works, man. <laughs> you see that? Hey, in pursuing the Hebrews, Hebrews, the 12th chapter, uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is coined as profane, man, which goes into outside of the temple, man. A, and a complete, a complete abomination. As a matter of fact, let's go get that real quick before we get this article. I want to get it in the blue letter because we're going to get this in the... Uh, Let's see, it's all right. I'm already in the NIV. This is what I want. Let's go to Hebrews 12. You walk here, I'm in Akwaf, know where I'm going. In verse 16, it reads See that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like who? Esau. You see that? Hebrews 12 and 16 is calling out names, man. See, this is why Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is coined as the base man. Okay, the third part of man. He's the lowest of the lowest. He's the lowest of the heathen. Okay? When it comes to any form of morals, understanding, right, or righteousness. You see? Who, for a single male, sold, it, sold his inheritance, right, as the oldest son, right? So the point here I'm making is this. This man's sexual and moral mindset, man. Okay? His profane uh, uh, characteristics. See, and they, and they play out. Hey, they play out. Hey, they play out through his legislation. Come on, man. Hey, this man allows bestiality in his society, man. Okay? This man is allowing pedophilia. Okay? And protecting those that are, uh, that are involved in these... Uh, pedophilia rings This man is uh, All about Momoism You see This is this man Hey The scriptures are, Hey the scriptures are plain man <laughs> Hey the scriptures are plain We're seeing this happen Real time The sexual immorality Of evil E Esau Edom The so called white man You see his laws testify against him, being that he has laws and legislation protecting these people, man. See? And also articles like this one testify against him. Real quick. Uh, this is from Zero Hedge, right? Dated July 20th, 2023. And the title reads, Biden, Department of Defense, lets Momo Transformer Right? Service members skip deployments, man. Receive indefinite physical fitness waivers. Confidential memo. Okay, it's going to expose it. Now, I know the uh, beloved Elder Apostle uh, Tahar also uh, touched on this. I believe he had a different article. Though. But it pretty much mirrors the, mirrors, it's the, the information pretty much it mirrors the, the article he had. But uh, needless to say, yeah, look at this abomination, man. Hey, Babylon is through, man. You see, what you're witnessing, okay, are the beginning stages <laughs> of a failing system, of a sinking kingdom. You see? Let's get this right here. The dossier has acquired a new Department of Defense memo that goes into great detail on the topic of care of service members who identify as Momo Transformers. Man, we're going to get into that. But let's read through this. The document, which is not classified, but has long remained unavailable to Babylonians, is being published here for the first time for public consumption. The 34-page memo details the enormous perks granted to service members who identify as Momo Transformers, man. Okay, and you know what a perk is. A perk is a benefit. These are benefits they're receiving, man. Look at the damn abomination. Look at she, her. Through. Okay? At the beginning of his ten tenure, or tenor, right? President 
uh, Biden ended President Trump's ban on people who identify as Momo transformers, right, serving in the military. Salakia. Since then, the Biden administration has granted more and more benefits to this cohort, leading to dudes like this being celebrated by the Defense Department, man. Hey, Sodom and Gomorrah on steroids, man. This is what you're witnessing. Sodom and Gomorrah on steroids. Anyway, here's some of the highlights found within the document. So let's read down on this, right? Taxpayer funded. Hey, listen, taxpayer funded. All right, care for who? Momo Transformer service members includes speech and voice therapy, man. If you're a woman, you're being tired to speak like a man. If you're a man, you're being tired to speak like a woman. And don't forget about the medication you need to change up that voice box, okay? Right? Cross, look at that. Cross sex hormones, medication, right? Laser hair removal, see that? To make you, to make these nigga, a whole nigga, uh, super smooth, man. <laughs> super smooth, like, like, like my wife, man. Hey, this place gotta be done away with, man. Hey, voice feminization surgery, man. You see that? Facial contouring, body contouring. Look at that, breast, chest surgery, upper surgery. You see that? I ain't gonna even get into it too much. They, hey, psychological counseling. You see this? Now, remind you, remember, this is what? Salakia. Taxpayer funded. You see? Hey, and it gets better. Let's continue reading. Service members who identify as Momo Transformers, okay, may receive a waiver for grooming and uniform standards. You see that? Service members who identify as Momo Transformers may receive an indefinite waiver for physical fitness standards. This waiver often becomes a de facto permanent situation and the Momo Transformer identifying service member just has to renew the exemption request every six months, man. So ultimately, hey, they get... uh. <laughs> Uh, physical fitness uh, 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 service forever, as long as they're serving, pretty much. They just got to renew it. You see? Hey, this is, it gets better, right? Service members who identify as Momo Transformers will be considered non-deployable for up to 300 days, okay? 300 days. That's almost a year, man. It's what, there's 365 days in a year. See that? Almost a year, right? While taking what? Hormones for their transition period, man. This place is an abomination. Again, given that these hormones are often required for life, this may render the, the Momo Transformer identifying service member as permanently unable to deploy. You see this? But here it is, they're gonna receive perks and benefits as a as a uh, as a purple hot soldier. Man, if I was in the military, I'd be vexed, man. As a heterosexual man. The 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 US, right, the US military is facing its worst recruiting environment since 1973, when the conscription era ended and the current all-volunteer force was formed. Right. And this is what's gonna what's gonna come out of this? A draft, man. They're gonna have to. Why? Because nobody's trying to. Nobody's trying to rock with this place, man. Right? As the Defense Department memo makes clear, the U.S. military in 2023 represents more of a social welfare and social justice program than an entity purposed with defeating an aggressing army. Right? Hey, this place is looking like a laughing stock, man. Okay, hey, the military is not looking like a, 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 a set of valiant men you know, ready to go to war. No, man. Hey, the military is looking like this. Hey, this is a joke, man. Hey, this is a joke, man. Okay? This is a complete joke. And that's why when you go to... um, <laughs> When you go here, Habakkuk, the second chapter... 
in the 16th verse and it reads thou art filled with shame for glory man here it is these these devils are supposed to be in their prime okay they're at the pinnacle of their blessing of their rulership and they're looking like fools man they're looking like complete fools man this place is a laughing stock to the world man right drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered right and your foreskin is your private part man okay so she this place is being uh exposed man and let thy foreskin be uncovered right you fully exposed man you uncircumcised philist uncircumcised philistine like the beloved king david said <laughs> before he uh took that man's head uh goliath right the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, you see? Hey, you devils are going into captivity, man. Okay? You devils are going into captivity. And it's gonna be a long, drawn out, thousand year, grievous captivity. And don't worry, you won't be alone. <laughs> you won't be alone. The 16 heathen nation, other heathen nations are gonna be right there along with you. You will not be alone, but you get in two cups though. You see? You eat them as they get in two cups for what you've done. See? And shameful spewing shall be on thy glory, man. And this is why everyone around the world has something bad to say about Mystery Babylon the Great. Okay? Hey, this place is not is this place is not being liked right about now. Okay, this place is very well hated. And again, that fulfills biblical prophecy. Okay, because when you go to, uh, real quick, when you go to Obadiah, because I want to grab that, um, let me see something real quick. When you go to Obadiah, chapter 2, chapter 1, obviously, one chapter, verse 2, I meant to say. Um, I'm going to start from verse 1, though. Obadiah 1 and 1, and it reads, The vision of Obadiah, right, the prophecy of Obadiah, right? Thus saith the Lord power concerning Edom. And remember, pursuing the Genesis 36, uh, verses 1 and 8, Esau is Edom. Okay, this is talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. We have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle, man. Okay, because ultimately this is what's going to happen. Those that are in confederate with you and obviously these BRICS nations and everyone with, with Russia, Gog and Magog, I'm going to aim at this place, man, with the missiles, man. Fulfilling biblical prophecy, okay. Everybody that got everybody that got a, a, a arrow gun, shoot at this place, man. Pursuing the Jeremiah. And here's the point: Behold, I have made thee what small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised, man, or hated. <laughs> Another word for that word despised is hated, man. You see, and when you go to um, let me get this real quick. When you get this word small, real quick. Strong's H, 6996. Katan. Katan. Right. Ksenius lexicon. Katan. Katan. Second entry. Katon. Right, when you get this word small, it goes into what? Young, small, insignificant, right? Unimportant. Okay? Hey, the hammer of the earth is diminishing, man. <laughs> your, your enchantments, your ability to, to deceive the masses is diminishing. Your witchcraft is weakening, man. Babylon the Great is languishing. Okay? Encircling the drain. Okay? <laughs> These nations don't want anything to do with you right about now, man. This is why they're deserting the fiat currency, the greenback. This is why everyone's pulling away from it. Okay? Mystery Babylon the Great's about to meet its demise, man. And no, you're not going to come up out of the ashes like the phoenix bird. Okay? It's game over after this. Okay? This is your last hoorah, man. This is it. Okay, on this on this Sodom and Gomorrah spirit offense alone, man. And we can prove that. Let's go here. 
on this Sodom and Gomorrah spirit offense alone. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is justified in visiting you demons, man. Not to mention what you've done to the planet Earth. And the apple of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's eye, which is the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, not to mention these things. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 19, and it reads, And Babylon, right, Mystery Babylon the Great, aka America, the glory of kingdoms, right? See? The beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Why? Because this place is moving in the same spirit as Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, pursuant to Revelations, the 11th chapter. Hey, th this article alone uh, proves that. And there's many others. Going into this man's uh, Sodom and Gomorrah mindset. Okay, and as we quoted earlier, let's go get it real quick and we'll come back here. Let's get it. We quoted it, but let's just go get it. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 6, and it reads, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, right? Those cities was who? Sodom, Gomorrah, uh, Zoar, also known as Bella, right? Zeboim, and uh, Adma. Okay? What did Yahweh Shai do? Rain fire and brimstone on those nasty niggas. Okay? Hey, and it's going to happen again in the form of the missiles on Babylon, man. And other areas of the earth are going to get hit as well. Let's read this from the top. 2 Peter 2 and 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. And go, hey, do your research. The highest sulfur rate on the planet earth can be found in Sodom and Gomorrah. In the soil. Condemn them with an overthrow, making them an ensample or example, right, unto those that after shall live ungodly. Here it is, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, turned around and did exactly uh, what the scriptures said not to do. Why? Because he's, he's the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan. Okay, which that word Satan means adversary. Okay? Which gives credence to why this man moves in this mindset. Back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 20, and it reads, It shall never be inhabited. Okay, regarding Babylon, Mystery Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, after the missiles hit, right? It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, right? Habibi, no more gas stations, man. Okay, no more corner stores, selling our people fagos and, and, and duchess, man. Okay, those days are coming to an end. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satires shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged, man. Hey. So your visitation is upon you, man. Okay, these, these odious works that you devils have been doing since your inception, hey, there's a penalty for that. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak with us. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Shalawam.